Well, hey everybody, Mike Griffith here of Dog Nation. I'm with Lawrence Cager. He's the latest addition to the Georgia Receiving Corps, but no spring chicken. You're coming in as a graduate transfer from Miami. I, obviously, a lot of opportunities for you. You could have gone pro. You could have chose other schools. Why are you going to be a Georgia instead of the NFL or another school? Um, really just a, uh, the, the relationship I had with Coach Foley my freshman year of being an offensive coordinator here in Miami and uh, the relationship I had with... Uh, with uh, Coach Kirby Smart, uh, recruited me at Alabama when he was at Alabama. Um, so being with them um, and the relationship I had with them and the recruiting process, them mapping the plan out for me, it, uh, Georgia felt like home. No doubt. The last four years, Miami has been home for Lawrence and spectacular freshman year. You were able to catch on and do some big things. Talk about that freshman year. And then let's talk about the start of your sophomore year. So catch everybody up on how your career started. Uh, started out good. Uh, Playing a lot everywhere, uh, Coach Coley put me in a slot outside. Uh, had had some good moments, uh, and then going to sophomore year, a lot of hype. Uh, all American. Some teams had your preseason All American. Right, preseason All American, and uh, tear my ACL. Uh, the last play, the last day of workouts, um, was a was a big crush for me. But um, you, like now, said, when you say workouts, you're talking about during the summer. During the summer workouts, summer workouts, 707 workouts, last 707. play, the okay. last play. Uh, the last day of workouts right before camp. Oh, wow. Um, so, uh, but like I said, God has a plan for me, and uh, I, stuck, I stayed the course and trust in God. How did you make it through that sophomore year without without football? I mean, you were still around the team, but you weren't able to contribute, you know, like you always had. I mean, you were a three-sport athlete in high school coming out of Baltimore. You would have been drafted. You would have been drafted in the Major League Baseball draft. You could have played basketball at the collegiate level. Suddenly, you can't do anything. How did you make it through that sophomore year? Um, really just... Uh, staying the course, like I said, uh, being ever since I got surgery, I was in the training room from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, uh, making sure I, I I came back faster than what they expected me to. Um, and then with one of my best friends, Amon Richards, uh, doing what he did fresh, his freshman season, um, just and being with him the whole time uh, and telling him, you know, what to do when he first got here, because uh, it was just big for me and and, and it was and it was it was just a, a statement in life. So you were able to kind of live through his success and enjoy it. You know, even when you got back for that redshirt sophomore year, though, you were telling me you didn't feel quite right. Even though your body was right, maybe your mind wasn't. Right. Yeah, it was big, big on the mental part of the game. Uh, had a, had some had a lot of highs, but had a lot of lows. Um, and I think every 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 ounce of that season for it, uh, it built me to the man I am today, um, and, and it helped me deal with those those insecurities that I had. Um, and just from the injury, even though that you knew it was structurally sound. Right. Yeah. Just from the injury. Uh, it, uh, talking with sports psychologists, it's, it, it's like that that way with, uh, with ACL and in the back of your mind, it's just like, well, if you do this way, you might get hurt again. Right. Um, so dealing with that the whole year was tough, but like I said, I think I think every moment for that because now I don't even think about it anymore. Right. Yeah, because you came back and, you know, I think Coach Richt was actually hired that year you were injured, correct? Right. What was that like? I mean, you go from Al Golden and Larry Scott your freshman year and, and Coach Coley. And then in comes Coach Rick, and uh, you told me you kind of thought he was going to get hired. You were pretty sure he would get it. Yeah, when Georgia made a decision to let him go, um, we figured that you know uh, Miami was going to be a spot for him, uh, being an alma mater in Miami, and really uh, ESPN and all the sources saying that it was between Miami and Virginia who wanted to be in Miami. So right, that's right. What it was. So you're, you're you come back, you, you soldier through the up and down year. And then this last season, you know, I've got to think that this was difficult for you. You led the team in catches, didn't finish the way you wanted. How would you explain or describe the last season at Miami? Um, it was a it was a it was a good season. Um, it could have went better. Right. Um, but I think I think like I said, I think every moment that I have playing a game uh, for God, and and it's a testament to your life. Um, even when adversity strikes, you know, if you persevere through it, then you can become a better man. So I feel like even after the season, I became a better man, better football player, and I can't wait to, to put on the pads for the next season coming up. No doubt about it. And, and you've already taken a really good look at Georgia, obviously, because even beyond James Coley and Kirby Smart, uh, some familiar faces, some guys you've seen, whether it was during the recruiting trail or, or just on television, I guess, I'd, I guess I would ask you about Jake Fromm. I mean, uh, what are your thoughts, your immediate impressions on Jake? Yeah, Money Fromm, that's my boy. Now, Money, money Fromm? Yeah money from that's my boy okay uh, um, <laughs> ever since uh, you know uh, I made the decision to come back to school and announced that I was a grad transfer um, when coach Coley and coach coach Coley made it a priority for me and Jake to link immediately and that's what we did we hit it off right immediately just talking talking all the time uh, getting down almost every weekend just to go throw catch with him uh, building on chemistry with them before I even get down there was big and uh, ready 
ready to ready to play with him. Yeah, what's and, and we see Jake in the media spotlight and what is he like as a person? I mean, beyond the the fishing we know he likes to do, what kind of guy is he in the locker room? He seems to inspire a lot of people around him. Yeah, he's a great natural leader. He's a guy you want to play with, you want to go to war with, and um, he throws and from the football aspect, he throws a, a, a pretty ball, um, and he and he get the ball to you when you need it. And um, like I said, he, you couldn't ask for a better quarterback. You were telling me on your visit, it was a week before signing day, you had a chance to come across one particular position group that might have stood out to you a little bit, might have been a little bit bigger than you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> offensive line. Um, good group of guys, man. Uh, probably, I would say, biasly, the best O-line in the country. Um, but I've said it too, and I try not to be biased. But. Right, yeah, So, um, but the best O-line in the country, uh, big dudes, but loving dudes, man. They, they, they'll go to war for you. They, 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 you know, They'll do anything for you, and you couldn't ask for better people. So you come in, and obviously at Georgia, you want to get yourself as prepared as possible for the NFL. But you've told me there's a priority before the NFL in terms of what you want to get done with this football team. Right, yeah. So I just, like I said, this football team, I feel like we can win a national championship. Yeah. And um, that's, the, that's the main goal. That's what Coach Kirby's preaching. And uh, we, 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 we work into that, and I can't wait to start the season. No doubt, Lawrence. And you've been working out a little bit. I'll let you tell people how. Where have you been working out, and and how have you been staying ready? I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at you. You're six five, and I don't know what you're weighing now. Where, where have you been working out, and where are you at on the weight? Yeah, so I'm around two seventeen to eighteen right now. I've been working out uh, down south here at the Bomberito Performance Center, just you know, with NFL guys like uh, Le'Veon Bell, um, just numerous guys, uh, and just really just getting my explosion back. Uh, having this offseason really just to fine-tune some of my game and can't, like I said can't wait to touch down that. You know it's interesting you say you can't wait to touch down but we, we've talked today a little bit and everything is we in Georgia and I'm looking around I'm saying Lawrence we're, we're in Miami and you're talking like you're at Georgia it, it's almost like your mind even though the body is here when when did the mind move to Athens? My mind moved to Athens as soon as I made a decision to, to be a Bulldog. Um, like I said it, it's not an easy decision but I feel like it was the right decision and it felt just like home. Um, Coming, being out of high school, some fans may know I wanted to be a Georgia Bulldog from the jump. Um, but you know, God works. God works in mysterious ways. I'm here now with the coach that I have at my coach that I want in Miami, coach that I love at Bama. So uh, you couldn't ask for a better position. And I've been a Bulldog ever since I announced that I was coming, and um, never wavering. I'm I'm ready to go. No doubt about it. I know Georgia fans are going to be really excited to see you out there. We don't know the number you'll be wearing yet, but he'll be easy to pick out. He is every bit of the six foot five he's listed at, and folks. He is hungry and he is ready. And uh, let's wrap it up for, for now, Lawrence. I'll have another story a little bit more involved about your recruitment and how you got here. Everybody have a great day.